Hi, my name is John Kim, and I'm a therapist who went through his own rebirth. I share my feelings and revelations. I believe in casual or clinical and with you instead of at you. I come unrehearsed on purpose because self-help doesn't have to be so complicated. Have you ever walked into the wrong Uber? Well, that just happened to me. You know, the problem is there are too many Priuses because if you're an Uber driver, chances are you have an electric car uh, or a hybrid. And if you have a hybrid, chances are it's going to be a Prius. So there's a there's so many Priuses on the road. And Priuses, they don't make those cars in like really cool, unique, different colors. They're all kind of primary colors. So the chances of you calling an Uber and just jumping into a black Prius is and and then that black prius not being your uber is very high so that happened to me today speaking of ubers um i'm gonna tell you a little story about another uber ride um and the why am i even okay wait sorry i just i uh i did this sorry when i talk I, i i sometimes will um go down a path based on my train of thought and Eight out of ten times, they're cul-de-sacs. They're dead ends. So that just happened right now. So let me reverse and go down a different path. Okay, here's the new path. On my forearm, I have this tattoo. It says, resist nothing. And it's something I got years ago when I was going through my rebirth. And by the way, all my tattoos are, are not for show. They're for myself. They're either bookmarks or reminders to myself. Um, no, nothing on my body is for aesthetics. So... That sounded kind of weird. (laughs) Um, um, So resist nothing comes from this idea that in our resistance is our stunted growth, right? In, In our resistance, what we are resisting is, wait, did I say that right? It's on the other side of our resistance where the better version of you lives, where your potential lives. And if we always listen to our resistance, and if we are resisting everything, then we are living in the past. Then we are creating a ceiling. Then we are not growing and evolving, right? So that's that's what I mean by resist nothing. Now, of course, uh, I don't mean it literally in the sense that you should not resist anything. Like, you know, if you feel like doing crime or if you feel like punching someone in the face to not resist that. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about the resistance that comes up. Um, which is usually our reaction and which is tied to trauma and old patterns and all of that stuff. I'm talking about that resistance, right? I'm talking about the resistance that comes up because you're afraid or because someone's ideas don't match with yours or because you're trying to control that kind of resistance. Okay, so what I want to talk to you about today is a question that I ask myself often and I'll, I'll hopefully tie it all together where these pieces make sense. Um, including the Uber. Okay, so one of the questions I ask myself often that has been a a life changer, and I also I, I, I ask clients this as well, is what if you did the complete opposite? Now, the reason why I, there's, there's a a few things that happens when you ask yourself this question. One, you are adding a speed bump. So you don't, so you basically slow things down. So instead of reacting, instead of you living life um, by your knee jerk, and whether it's in thought or behavior um, or how you treat someone or words, how, what, what comes out of your mouth, most of us feel something, uh, whether it's anger, frustration, whatever it is, and then we're, we're instantly reacting off of that feeling. So by asking yourself, what if you did the complete opposite now you're slowing the process down. And then as you start to slow that process down, you can then choose a different path. And I think in this space, you could break the pattern, as Joe Dispenza uh, says, to break the pattern of being yourself, you know? And I'm, I'm more accurately being your old self, right? And so what I mean by what if you did the opposite means um, not only in behavior and thought, but also in energy and intention. We'll be right back after this brief message. I don't know about you, but my gut is all kinds of fucked up. 
and I am bloated all the time. Did you know that your gut bugs can control your energy production and even body shape? When you cut out sugars to lose fat, your gut bugs, that sounds kind of gross, lie dormant and wait. Plus, they also shoot out eggs. When the sugar comes back, they wake up all the eggs and then the eggs hatch. And this is why we get a rebound weight gain and bloated so easily after losing weight. ATP Science created a new product called Gut Right. And I want you guys to check this out. Here's what Gut Right does. It stops the overgrowth of normal bugs that immune burden and toxicity systematically. Gut Right replaces the missing mod biotics in our diet, just like multivitamins can replace the missing vitamin. So get your gut right today. Visit atpscience.com forward slash get gut right and get 20% off uh, your first order Plus, you get free shipping when you use the coupon code ANGRYTHERAPIST. Go to atpscience.com forward slash get gut right and you get 20% off your first order if you use the coupon code all caps ANGRYTHERAPIST and get your gut straight as I am doing. And so I'm going to go back to that Uber story and give you a, uh, a real life example that's just really simple. It just happened to me like, like an hour ago. Um, because if you can do that, if you can actually execute the complete opposite, that is where there's uh, growth. That is where the pattern is broken. That is where the birth of a new way of thinking, a new way of acting, a new way of being is born. And it's also hard to do. So I was in an Uber, not the one that was wrong, but another Uber, on the way home from the gym, drenched in sweat. And I just wanted to get home. And he was, uh, I think it was like a, a, an Audi SUV, so it was kind of high. And he had all the back windows rolled down, but that shit was also on lock. I think he had like the child lock. I don't know what it was, but I couldn't, I didn't have control over the, over the, the which is frustrating. And also I feel like that, like there's something kind of rude about that, right? And so there's a lot of feelings that came with that. And my instant reaction, which I did not react, but the instant reaction that was coming up, that was brewing, before I caught it was, what the fuck is this? You know, I'm, I, give me my power back. Give me my, my ability to adjust my windows back. Um, I started getting kind of uh, frustrated. I wouldn't say angry, but frustrated. And I was going to say something to the guy. And, you know, I was already thinking like, okay, I'm going to give this guy one star, right? Because that's how we are. Um, I should say me. I shouldn't say we. I'm sorry. That's how I am. And so right before I, I did that, I thought to myself, Hey, why don't you ask yourself, in plug, in, insert that question here. Why don't you ask yourself, what if you did the complete opposite? And so I did that. And then, you know, and this happens really fast. So what, what if I did the complete opposite? And then also, what does that look like? So the, it, it's, not, it's, it's the answer to ask the question and then also to answer it by actually executing it. So what that would look like to, would be to obviously not say anything. Um, but also, it would look like to see if you could actually enjoy it, you know, sitting back of an Uber, feeling like you're in a fucking tornado and you're sweaty and the last thing you want is wind in your face, um, to actually not resist that. And so I tried it as an exercise, uh, as an experiment, as, as, a, as a test to see if that I'm, I'm better at this. And so I realized that once I didn't resist it, once I asked myself, if I could do the complete opposite and then actually executed that, again, not in just behavior, but also attitude, right? You're not doing it, white knuckling it and being mad about it. You're actually doing it genuinely. Like what if I did the complete opposite, which meant to actually enjoy the breeze, uh, be grateful that you're in a nice Audi um, to, you know, this guy might be, he has no idea that the child locks are on and, 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 and he's not doing it to make you feel uncomfortable and, he drives an Uber all day and he must be tired. Like, you know, like do it with a good attitude. Go the complete opposite of how you're feeling right now, which is anger and frustration. So I did that. And I, I got to pat myself on the back. I did it pretty well. <laughs> I did it pretty fast. And then here's the tipping point. Here's what's interesting. I then started to enjoy the wind. I was like, oh, fuck, this feels great, man. It feels like I'm on the back of someone's motorcycle. And, and I liked it. And, you know, the takeaway, the revelation is I didn't change the situation. I didn't change the person. 
I changed myself. I changed my attitude. I leaned into my own resistance. And by doing so, I grew a little bit. By doing so, that situation had less power over me. By doing so, I didn't allow myself to dip into a lower frequency, right? And so that is a value of this whole idea or question of asking yourself, what if I did the complete opposite? And I say that because most of us, and now I'm going to use we because I know it's true because I talk to people every day and, and, and hear their stories. Most of us pull from our reactions. Most of us uh, do what we feel. Um, and, and, you know, our feelings aren't facts. And so a lot of times we're <laughs> jumping to conclusions and regretting what we, what we do. We say things, we hurt people, you know, we punch people in the face. <laughs> we uh, have road rage, all of these things that we react a lot. You know, a lot of us are walking reactions and I used to be one and I still, you know, I'm working on it. And I think that if you ask yourself slash challenge yourself to do the complete opposite, then you're going to stretch yourself. And in that stretch, you are going to find a better version of yourself. So that is my um, challenge to you today. As you go out throughout, as you go, as you go out throughout, as you <laughs> live your day today. Um, and, and, you know, things are going to come up. So there's going to be resistance. You, if, you, if you're aware of it, it's there. So whether we're talking about, you know, deadlines or things with uh, bosses, or maybe your friends, or I don't know, family, there's going to be resistance, it fluctuates throughout the day. And then as you feel this resistance, see if you could do the complete opposite as an experiment, and challenge yourself to do it. And then Observe what, 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 was, what was the result of that. And you may hopefully have the revelation that, oh, I, by doing the complete opposite, I actually was able to let go of things that I normally don't let go of. And I have less anxiety. And in that space of doing the complete, complete opposite, I was actually able to practice compassion or self-compassion um, or empathy or gratitude. All of these powerful things that um, don't come naturally that we have to put an effort toward, right, and practice. And so once you have that learning, then you will do it more often. And the more often you do it, the more you will stretch and grow and evolve. Hey, before you go, if you like my ramblings and revelations and shares, I am now texting people directly to their phone. Just go to my website, theangrytherapist.com if you want to subscribe. I'll be doing weekly text, five days a week, reminders and also uh, mindsets and uh, exercises and challenges. And every week there will be a different theme, a different topic. So I hope to see you in your phone. And also, if you enjoy this conversation, I hope you help me uh, spread the dialogue and help other people by sharing it. You never know what people need to hear. So if it's helped you, I hope you uh, can help me help others. Thank you. Hey, if you have a passion to help others and want to become a life coach, or you just want to acquire tools to change your own life, learn more about our Catalyst Life Coaching Intensive. We are an evidence-based training program with an amazing, authentic, vibrant community, and we give lifetime support. Just go to my website, theangrytherapist.com, and click on Life Coach Training.